Hi and welcome to the PikaPods YouTube channel and another tutorial video. In today's video, I will show you an interesting open source app that can help you organize social interactions with your friends and family. Before we dive into personal CRM, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you do not miss out on our future content. Interesting educational videos on open source apps and software are planned in the following weeks. But let's return to our personal CRM topic and the open source app Monica. Monica lets you quickly and easily log all the information so you can be a better friend, family member or spouse. To launch this app, I will be using PikaPods. PikaPods offers open source app hosting service and you can run the finest open source web apps from just $1 per month. Under available apps, you will find over 60 apps that you can use for business or personal matters. Once you find the app you like, you can click on run your own and you just need to create an account to use it. So I will add Monica to our pause library. With Monica, you can manage your personal relationship and track all your interactions with friends and family. And this app allows you to remember all important dates and events, thus strengthening your relationship. It's like a personal Rolodex. The more information you put in Monica, the more useful it will become. So once you install the app in the pod's library, you can just click on open pod. Once you click on open pod, you will have to create an account. You need to enter a valid email address, name, last name, and password, and you need to agree to the terms and service. Monica has a simple interface. At the top, there's a menu where you can search your contacts, see your dashboard, manage your journal, and there's also a settings icon where you can manage your profile and preferences. And let's add our first contact. Click on add your first contact. And you just need to write a first name. Other fields are optional, but I will fill out as many fields as I can since I want to have my contacts well organized. Once I'm done, I will click on add. There you go. Our first contact is in our Rolodex. Now you can manage your contact and add all the relevant information about this person. You can favorite this contact by clicking on the star icon and by clicking on stay in touch you can set up a notification on how often you want to be reminded to keep in touch with this contact so i can set up in the app to send me an email every three days and you can click on save on the left you can add all the relevant information such as love relationships family relationship addresses pets and work information or food preferences. And let's add a new relationship for this contact. You can click on add, and then you can choose between adding a new contact or adding an existing contact. Since we only have one contact in our database, I will add a new one. I will pick gender and I will add the birthday if I know the date. If you don't know it, that's fine. So I know the exact date. And I can also set an annual birthday reminder for this person. Then I can pick the type of relationship. So son, daughter, mother, father, spouse, and so on. Then finish the process by clicking on add. Now you have a new piece of information for this person and you can add more relationships for this person and you can fill out other relevant information as well. Under notes and reminders, you can add some quick info about this contact. For example, I can add that this person is a fan of sports cars and basketball, for example. You can also log recent conversations, phone calls, activities, tasks, gifts and debts as well. I will add one new activity with this person. Click add activity and then describe what you did with that person and when. For example, we played basketball two weeks ago and I can also include emotions and add more people to this activity, participants and so on. And just click on add to log this activity. And let's also log one conversation with this person. 
just click on log conversation. We can see that we spoke to this person yesterday and I can pick how I communicate it from the drop down menu. So it can be the email, phone, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn. So let's say we talked on the phone and then we can log the entire conversation. So what did I say? So I can say that I sent this message. I asked him about his vacation and then he replied October 15. And that's it. Once I'm done, I can click on add. Another interesting feature is life events. You can log what happened in the life of your content for your future reference. Click add life event and pick from one of the categories what you want to remember. You can log when the person got a new job, started school, studied abroad, made a home improvement, went on holidays, when they got engaged, if they're expecting a baby and so on. I will log that my contact moved last year to a new house. So this is 2022 and it was in February. And then you can also pick a date, write a story if you want to, and then click on add. There you go. We have one life event created. You can add as much information as you wish. If you go back to your dashboard, you will see it looks a bit different now. You will see schedule events for the next three months. And this will update as you add new contacts, relationships, and important life events. You see that with Monica, you can manage your personal and business contacts, and you don't need to worry about dates and events since you have everything in one place. Monica is for people who have jobs, family, and are busy trying to find a good work-life balance. And this is not a social network. It's a private place for your eyes only. It's your personal CRM. If you want to get started with Monica, you can check out PikaPods. PikaPods is an open source app hosting service that makes it easy to find, install, and use open source apps such as Monica. With PikaPods, you can install apps with just a few clicks, browse a wide selection of open source apps, and support your favorite open source projects. So what are you waiting for? Get started with open source software today with PikaPods. You will get $5 starting credit. Until next time, take care.